beautiful Capricorn, welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with your soulmate journey reading. I've already cleansed your space and I've meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for your wonderful likes, shares and subscribes. I'm truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder that this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you're aware. Also, please be mindful, scammers are about pretending to be me and lots of other tarot readers. If anyone claiming to be me asks you for money, e-gifts, donations, it is not me, it is a scam. I do not have Facebook, WhatsApp, PayPal, Telegram or Patreon, so anyone on those platforms masquerading as me please report them it is fake let's get straight to your soulmate journey reading now I've already cleansed the space but I'm going to cleanse your space hourly as well as mine at the same time just for synchronicity and you'll hear three loud noises so please if you've got headphones in please adjust them I do not want to hurt your wonderful ears and let us begin my beautiful Capricorn Okay, so this reading is a little bit different. I'm going to do a nine card spread there. It's a soulmate uh, spread and um, I'm using the Good Tarot by Colette Baron reed So let us see um, the journey um, that either you've taken so far and you've met your soulmate. So this reading is for people who have already met their soulmate, but also for those who are waiting to meet their soulmate. There will be clues about the journey that you're taking so far. Right at the end, for those people who have not met their soulmate yet, I will be doing some extra cards just to see uh, when that person may be coming on in or if there's an extra sort of thing on the journey that you have to pay close attention to or if there's any changes to look out for just before you meet this person so I will um, sort of indicate um, with extra cards right at the end for you Capricorn so let's go through the first card is the Queen of Air okay so this person is very very truthful very sharp shooting someone who's got very healthy boundaries this is the first position oh wow look at that someone's very beautiful as well but uh, beautiful handsome both inside and out Capricorn thank you so much spirit guys going angels can you please guide my beautiful Capricorn what do they need to know regarding how would you like to receive thank you so much Wow, what a journey so far. Huh? This is uh, pretty awesome. You're getting some major, major arcana cards. Three of them. Uh, so definitely, do you want that one? Thank you so much. Faded energy. Thank you so much, spirit guides, spirit angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Capricorn? What do they need to know regarding this um, soulmate journey? Patience. Okay. We've got uh, a little lesson there. We've got, wow, I mean... I've not done a reading yet, Capricorn, that has got so many major arcana cards, bar two. Okay, so your energy for your soulmate, very, very faded. Okay, uh, let's move forward. Messenger of Air, interesting. Wow, thank you so much. You and this person are very, very alike. Okay, thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide? Thank you so much. Two of Earth. They want me to go one more in that position, bizarrely. Okay, they, they do ask occasionally for an extra one. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Grand Angels. Thank you so much. Seven of Air. Okay. Okay. So, let us see what we got going on here. Now, Queen of Air. This is position number one, and this describes your soulmate. Um, now, this person, uh, there's a lot of air in the charts, I have to say there. Um, we've got, let me see. We do have quite a lot of fire as well because we've got the Magician card and the Patience card, Sagittarian and Aries energy here. So we've got a mixed bag, but the majority energy uh, that's coming through is we've got, uh, this person may have major placements in air elements, but also in fire elements. Doesn't mean that they don't have placements in like uh, Libra or Taurus or, you know, Capricorn itself. It could be with another Capricorn. It just means they're major placements. Doesn't mean sun, moon or rising sign. It could be other areas. They've got a majority of placements in air or in uh, fire in their chart. Um, but this person 
Now this is Libra energy. So this is someone who's very self-sufficient, Capricorn. They got their own stuff going on and they, they're they meeting you whole, okay? Now also this person's very balanced. This is Libra energy here. Someone who leads with total honesty, someone who's got a lot of integrity, someone who uh, has a plan, is committed to a plan, and someone who has healthy boundaries, strong self-esteem. Now male or female, not a gender specific reading. It's about the embodiment of the energy that is coming from this card. This person makes shrewd decisions. So quite would make quite a good business person if they're not a business person already. They have clarity of purpose. They know where they're going. They know what they want. They know what they're doing. They set intentions and they align themselves with that. You appreciate that kind of energy. You're like someone who's got all their SHIT together. Um, but this person, they see things from all perspectives. Okay, so this person committed to a plan, strategy. This person works in, in terms of strategy in the game of life. So they may see things from many different perspectives because we've got the owl there. So someone who's very wise in their decisions. Um, but, you know, owls, they tend to see 360. Um, so uh, I feel like they're also, uh, you know, they're very good with it when it comes to their goals or dreams. They're very committed to that. Um, also, this person is very is rigorously honest with themselves. Okay, they know what they're capable of, they know what they're not capable of, they, they know their strengths and their weaknesses. Um, this person may be a little bit heady, okay? Uh, they have sometimes a bit of a battle over their head and their heart. Uh, I feel like this person is kind of, they overthink some things when it comes to love, but I feel like in terms of their skill set, they're actually really good at business. Um, now, this person does not let everybody in, Capricorn. Uh, this person, they're very discerning about the company they keep, uh, which is nice because you're obviously in the inner circle there. Uh, there's a lot of love here. Um, this person is quite a powerful energy. You wouldn't want to mess with this person. Uh, and I don't mean like in a negative sense. Uh, it's just that they're very savvy across the board. And I feel like you appreciate that energy. I'm just going to clarify a little bit further. Thank you so much for it, guys, for an angels. This person does not suffer fools gladly, Capricorn. And I feel like you love that energy because that's exactly how you are. Okay, the Hermit. Yeah, this person has met them themselves on a very deep level. Okay, the Hermit card is a solitary energy. So sometimes this person can go off um, and need their own space just to really regroup their energy and gain enlightenment, their own inner truth. This person has dug deep when it comes to knowing themselves. They've met themselves on a very, very, very deep level. Okay, which means, um, you know, we can only meet each other as deeply as we have met ourselves. And I feel like you are going to appreciate this person because uh, whether you've met them already and you're with this person or you've met them and you're not quite with them yet or you've not met them yet you really appreciate the depth of this person because they lead with authenticity okay there's nothing fake or superficial about this person um, and also you know they don't they don't actually take every opportunity or every person into their sphere as you can see there's a world there that's revolving clockwise and they've let this ship go Okay, so this person knows what is healthy for them and what is not. They're willing, they have patience to wait for the right person, for the right opportunity. This person leads by their own inner light, okay? This person's quite wise. When you get the Hermit card, the Hermit is often quite a wise energy, and this is Virgo energy as well. So this person may be uh, you know, very good at business. They're very loyal, very practical, very grounded kind of person, dependable. Um, very resourceful as well is what I've got here. But this person's got a very unique inner light. A lot of love, okay? I'm gonna pull another card regarding that. A lot of love um, for self, this person, uh, which means that they can actually, not in an egotistical way, it's just that they know what they deserve. They won't let you get away with any SHIT and you won't let them get away with anything. Now we all, you know, when we meet the right person, it just clicks. High Priestess, psychic bond between you and this person. Okay, High Priestess, another Virgo energy. So they may have very strong Virgo placements. I mean, to clarify, we're getting two Virgo cards. So this person may have strong placements there as well. Uh, but what they're indicating is this person psychically, uh, they're very connected to you. They just know, and you just know that they are the one for you. You read each other's minds in a really healthy way. Um, and also I feel like you trust in it's almost like you both trust in the unknown when you're together because you know that no matter what comes your way, you and this person, as long as you stand firm together, you got this, okay? But there is, uh, sometimes this person, intuitively, they feel when things are off, okay? And sometimes you may sort of 
look around you and think, oh, everything looks fine, but this person will be like, no, 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 I've got a hunch. This is, this is not right. And you may decide to trust them on that and see that they were right. Both of you combined make a really good team. Okay, and I feel like there's moments of that vice versa. I mean, it's, you could have any card in this deck. Look, any card. I'm just showing you. You got two cards that are like really protective of, you know, whatever it is you're launching, those ships here. Um, you know, so it's about emotions and sort of embarking on that journey of life together and knowing that it is safe to do so because you trust each other. There's no secrets here. Okay, I feel like intuitively you just know each other um, on a deeper level and I feel like you do not repress how you feel about each other. Um, there's no mistrust. Okay, so I really feel uh, there's a lot of wisdom. So I feel you and this person have already had relationships in the past, karmic ones, um, <clears throat> or it could have been other soulmates that taught lessons, but uh, I feel like it's karmic ones that have taught harsh lessons in relationships and both of you are very knowledgeable. Okay, now this is the past life relationship between you and this person to describe what you both had. Now, it's very beautiful, very abundant. The Empress card, uh, again, male or female, not a gender specific reading Capricorn. This is about the energy it embodies. You and this person, you could have had children together because the Empress card indicates, um, you know, um, that sort of being able to pro procreate. But I feel like you both had a very healthy relationship. Both of you knew that you were the soulmate. You worked hard on the relationship with each other. You, you didn't neglect each other. There was no indecisiveness. You just knew that you were right for each other in a past life. You experienced a life of pleasure, of abundance. You may have also worked on the land, is what they're giving me with this card. Um, <clears throat> you're both attracted to each other. Um, both very creative beings, actually, as well. Um, both of you had infinite possibilities to manifest um, a lot of abundance in a previous lifetime together. Why is that important? Because that energy can transmute over to this lifetime. So there may be a point in your future that you may work with this person, Capricorn, or you um, <clears throat> may have a family with this person because there is a very creative, beautiful energy, nourishment, healthiness around. There's a lot of love and respect here with the Empress card. Um, You, I feel like you were very, so you very good parents. Okay, uh, now that doesn't mean that you want to be parents in this lifetime. Okay, just so you're aware, but it may uh, infiltrate the way that you feel about this person in some way. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels. Can you please clarify the Empress card before we move forward? Oh, so we've got the Page of Wands, we got the Lovers. And we got the sun. I mean, beautiful energy. You're very curious about each other, had wonderful adventures, very passionate connection. You and this person were very active, very creative. You you know, you sought deeper meaning in life. That's what I mean. You, This person has met themselves on a deeper level. And Capricorn, I feel like you're doing some soul work as well. Um, and we've got the lover's card. So you both chose each other. Um, and, you know, you both made a pact to come back into this lifetime to be with each other. And the Sun card indicated it was a beautiful blossoming relationship. You brought a lot of happiness to each other, um, a lot of exciting energy. Now, just to let you know, I'm using uprights in both decks. This is the um, the Mystical Moments Tarot deck, and this is the Good Tarot. Um, so yeah, very positive energy, a lot of love there, very curious about each other, kept the passion alive, as it were, kept everything moving forward. Um, <clears throat> so you may feel like a lot of familiarity with this person when you met them. And if you have not met this person um, you, and you're about to meet this person, um, you'll feel a, f a familiarity that doesn't make you feel nervous. It's like, it just fits, it just clicks, okay? Um, like you've known each other before because you, you of course have. Um, and to the highest regard as well. Now, the Sun card, a beautiful energy. This is the third position. Why is this person here in your current lifetime? Because it makes you happy. Okay, to fulfill your, your destiny, to fill your ha fulfill your happiness. Uh, you and this person, you're in pursuit of creating an abundant lifestyle that is happy, successful. I mean, you and this person are meant to bask in each other's positivity, raise each other up. There's a lot of optimism here, auspicious energy. When you meet this person, or if you haven't, if you haven't met this person already, you and this person just spark off each other and you uh, raise each other up and you find a lot of pleasure and, and happiness that you are both together taking this journey of life. Now, we all go through life. We all have ups and downs, Capricorn. We all have arguments. Things are not always plain sailing. We all know that. That's just life. But 
it is a commitment that you and this person made to be with each other through thick and thin, through any storm you would weather them and that you would be together, okay? So this person literally lights up a room for you, Capricorn, and vice versa, okay? As soon as you step into a room, this person's heart like skips a beat and they just are filled with an immense sense of pride that it is you who is by their side, okay? That's what I'm getting from this card. Um, this person also, you feel so comfortable in this person's energy that you allow your inner light to shine brighter and vice versa. Um, yeah, you're both meant to fulfill your happiness in this lifetime. I mean, it's simpler, no simpler than that. I mean, it's beautiful energy, okay? Now, this is the fourth position, all three cards. It's about your soul contract, the contract that you made in this lifetime. Um, and we've got the Magician card. Thoughts become things. You may have felt like you even manifested this person into your world, you know? It's almost like you had an idea of what kind of person you wanted and then they showed up. And if you haven't had them show up yet or you, you, you know who this person is and you haven't uh, completed the cycle by being with this person yet, um, you'll notice there's gonna be a lot of synchronicities. The Magician card indicates you and this person, you focus on a common goal together. Whether that's a career goal, you find yourself aligning yourselves with being on the same page in terms of, um, you know, creating your prosperity. I mean, huge faded energy here. It's it's major. The magician card indicates also there's a magical element about your union. It just seems to work, and things just seem light. Okay, when you two are together, it seems like you both got faith that anything is possible, and you know, you may even reach um, like. An energy of um, wanting to step into some sort of spiritual practice with each other there's just magic about you and this person but also your focus becomes more intense on your goals and dreams you raise each other up of course you focus on each other but you know it's almost like there's no procrastination when you're together both of you are up and doing stuff you feel powerful when you're in um, their energy you also feel com confident now this person is not here to make you feel confident or accomplish things capricorn you do that all by yourself but when you get with your soulmate the right person it's almost like everything else just slots into place and you both fly just magically okay both of you spur each on each other on to take action on whatever it is that you're you have as your goals and dreams and i feel like just Whatever you both envisage for your future, it manifests because the power of two together being on the same page is some really powerful high vibrations, okay? Now we've got the four of earth. You and this person are meant to build something very secure for the long term um, and you're meant to offer each other um, um, you know, an opportunity for long-term security in terms of love, but also in finances. You build solid foundations here um, so that you and them can thrive. You you start building something that's really wonderful, okay? Um, you bring a lot to the table, both of you. You have equal amounts to offer, is what they're giving me, equal amounts to offer. You both learn from each other, but you both move each other forward, and you offer a lot. Uh, now also, both of you have got to learn a lesson of patience. We got the Sagittarian energy of uh, temperance. This is a temperance card. So balance and harmony, you and this person, you counteract each other. So when one of the partnership is impatient and feeling like they want to move forward, the other can see it from a different perspective where you're like, you know what, maybe we should take it slow in this area because we need to get all the details or re-examine our priorities. We need to just really suss this out before we move forward. And then vice versa, Capricorn. When you're feeling impatient, you want to move forward on it they see from the other side where you need to slow down or so i feel like you and this person were meant to build a solid foundation for yourself and have faith in divine timing before you were meant to come together as well you were meant to take action on a goal a dream start something up set something up so it started running itself whether that's you work for a company and are building your you know financial wealth uh, there or whether it is you're setting up your own business, you're an entrepreneur, you're meant to get these things in order, streamline, and, and then your soulmate comes on in. The universe, the contract you made before you came here, Capricorn, you and this person was patience. You and this person were meant to learn patience and believe in divine timing. And that is when you show up with your soulmate, as soon as you've activated those things. So confidence, um, focus, accomplishment, building solid foundations. This is all for self. And patience equals, if this was an equation, equals your soulmate coming on in. So those who've already um, gravitated towards their soulmate and are with their soulmate, you would have noticed those variables were in play just before you met your soulmate. And those who are waiting, you may be working on those things in order to 
be ready for when the soulmate comes on in. <laughs> Excuse me. I do apologize for the coughing there. Now, the fifth position is the call card. This is the judgment card. Now, this is an important lesson that they are uh, here to teach you. And I don't mean teach you as in school, you Capricorn, because you've got that all by yourself. It's not a strict rule. It's something that you notice in them and you absorb in them. Because the trick to relationships is to remain with your own identity, but at the same time, merge as a couple and make sure you've got that healthy uh, energy of identity, but also, um, you know, togetherness. Um, the call card is about um, this person helps you on your soul path. Okay, they, uh, it's almost like they give you a bit of wake up call where you're like, you know what, I need to just get on it, whatever I need to do. You, you're making, you know, big decisions, final decisions, and you're, you tie up loose ends, you reach for a better life. Once you meet your soulmate, you're already reaching for that better life, Capricorn, all by yourself. But as soon as you meet this person, it's almost like it adds another level automatically. Nothing that you have to, I mean, all relationships, they require work. They're all hard work to keep things fresh and, you know, not going stale or stagnant. Um, but it's almost like you and this person elevate each other. I feel like it's also about weighing up your options in life, okay? And having a rebirth of faith um, and releasing self-doubt. Or if there's any rejections or blockages in your world, if, you know, missed opportunities and things like that, your person helps you see there's another route. They help you see that actually uh, what is meant for you will never pass you by. They make you see that the opportunity was not even worth your time to think about in the first place and that you got better to come, okay? Also, you know that this person is your soul's calling. As soon as you meet this person, you just know there is a deep knowingness here, okay? Now, I'm going to pull a quick card on the judgment card because it is a card of second chances as well. OK, um, but I feel like you and this person will be in the right moment, the right time, the right place, right moment to meet each other. Um, and also, it's almost like you and your person, when you meet the direction, your life's direction just becomes so clear. OK, King of Pentacles. I mean, financially, you thrive so much. OK, it's about wise investments. It's about solid financial um, sort of opportunities. You may even work with each other. Uh, second chances at money. For example, you know, it could be, you know, second chances on investments, perhaps. They, they they may have, you may find that your soulmate has intrinsic knowledge that you may have been seeking for a while that you found out yourself, but you may have needed that extra piece of knowledge, that little, because they show me right now, a it's like a jigsaw puzzle. Uh, they show me a piece to a jigsaw puzzle. So it's almost like they've got that extra piece to the jigsaw puzzle that um, you may find find that is missing, well, they, they bring it, okay? And it helps you both financially thrive. Um, I feel like both of you either go into business with each other or you're an entrepreneur. You spur each other on to have your own separate entrepreneurial companies and you also learn together. I feel like there's a duality here, which is really quite exciting. You almost like both of you together, you have the Midas touch, okay? And Capricorn, that's something that you kind of like to hear sometimes because you are always setting yourself higher goals and always smashing them out of the park. To be with someone who did not have a similar energy to you, Capricorn, uh, it might drive you crazy. So this person has similar sort of attributes to you, uh, and there's Taurus energy there uh, coming through as well. Now the messenger of air is the sixth position, so how can you deepen your relationship? Communication is key. OK, you and this person, uh, you know, developing your communication skills is important, OK, because this person's a little bit heady when it comes to their love. I mean, they love you like there's no tomorrow, but also they may have difficulty sometimes um, expressing it. They can express everything they else they need to express when it comes to um, everything else in your relationship. But when it's about going deeper in their emotions, they've got them and they're willing to talk about them, but sometimes they find it hard to find the right words. Also, I feel like both of you have had similar experiences in life. Um, you help each other think in a very different way. It's almost like together, both of your IQ and both of you got very high IQ, you're very intelligent, very savvy. Um, both of you, according to your experience, help the other react to certain situations in a different way. So for example, Capricorn, if something were to go wrong, for example, um, that you were not expecting, your first in instinct may be to be like, 
MF, you know, and get really angry or, you know, um, panic or whatever. I'm not saying this is you, Capricorn, because nine times out of ten, you've strategized. You've seen every possible outcome five moves ahead. So you already are ready for any uh, situation. Uh, but, you know, for example, if you have a certain way of reacting to something, your person helps calm you down, helps you see it from a different perspective due to their own experience in that particular ex um situation because they've had to adapt to a different way of thinking and behaving so they know and vice versa there's going to be situations that you've experienced that they have not so when they panic or have a bit of a flap about something you can say it's okay I got this because this happened to me a couple of years ago and I did this this and this so I feel like you balance each other out communication though is something that you can deepen your relationship with actually saying the hard stuff. I'm going to pull a quick card on it just to see what kind of communication uh, they're talking about here. Thank you so much for it, guys. Great angels. Two of Wands. Uh, especially when you get bored, Capricorn, um, because Two of Wands is a waiting energy and patience, you know, um, patience is something that you and this person sort of promised each other you would work on in this lifetime according to your contract. So Two of Wands is whenever you have to wait for something or you're um, having to make a choice, you and this person may get a bit antsy. Sometimes you may not communicate that you're feeling a little bit nervous or a little bit antsy and it may come out in really strange ways. So for example, you know, whenever you fight with your partner over who um, dipped the, the butter knife into the honey pot, you know, it's never an argument about who really dipped the, the butter knife into the honey pot and left a bit of butter in the honey. You know, it's never about that. It's about something else like, um, oh my gosh, you, you spent too much money in this area last month and now we got to pay for it or you forgot to pay this bill on time you know chances are there's something other it may not even be to do with money it may be to do with someone is worried about something or so sometimes arguments and we all argue we all have our ups and downs Capricorn whether we are with our soulmate or not as you know it's not all unicorns rainbows and you know um sprinkles of glitter and everything it's not all like that so it's almost like your arguments or whenever you have a disagreement, it tends to be when there is a frustrating energy elsewhere uh, and it tends to do with patience. Okay, now you and this person, I'm going to pull another card there. Um, it's something to do with stability because this this uh, figure here, she's sitting on a, uh, a house. So it's almost a it could be about building your stability. You may have different ideas of what stability means or where you want to live for example or have your home or traveling um, so there may be uh, discussions about that be honest and open with each other because at least you know right uh, you don't want to suffer in silence if you just go along with something in Capricorn I can't imagine you ever would and I don't feel like this person's quite sharp shooting so I feel like they wouldn't either the Emperor so I mean you're both meant to be with each other okay um, because we got two counterparts. So again, they're giving me that soulmate energy. You and this person are divine counterparts. But also the two of wands and the emperor indicates sometimes when it, there's like a push and pull on making a decision, there could be some control in certain areas, control, moments of control. You see it one way, they see it another way. And it is about experience. Okay, so it's about being a little bit more diplomatic about the way you express yourself. You both are very good at saying what you want to say, Capricorn, but sometimes it's about being a little bit more diplomatic, okay? Um, so don't shoot the messenger when I say that. I mean, we could all do with a, di a diplomacy pill or whatever it is in certain moments, but they're just indicating like, um, you know, in order to allow your relationship to blossom, um, just remember that in each couple there is like a balance of power and it's not power as in who rules of course but it is who sort of advises or the structure one moment one partner will lead the next moment the other will lead sometimes a partner will experience a disappointment the other one takes over and vice versa so it's about the power shift but also with the emperor card if you got your own business together um you know just be mindful that you're you both are sort of, um, you know, honest about the way you see things going and don't sort of like go, okay, that's a great idea. Or maybe we'll do that and secretly be seething thinking, actually, I don't think this is a good idea at all. Let's just see how it goes though. Because if it blows up later on, there's going to be resentments. So it's kind of like good to get it all out on the table. So that's what they're giving me there. Um, so 
there's just an energy even if both of you are business owners in separate arenas it's always it's always good to talk okay but diplomacy is key now final position how can you help this person how can you help them grow capricorn number seven seven of air indicates um you know non-conformity um you can teach this person to be their wonderful individualistic self and not conform to um social constraints or um to conventions because you're the sort of person you don't like rules capricorn you know you're okay with seeing the rules and how they apply to you and um you know moving forward especially in terms of work you're like you'll commit yourself to a certain set of guidelines but in other areas of life you're like you know screw it there's no rules i'll live my life the way i want to and that's wonderful as long as you're not hurting anybody go for it the seven of air is a non-conformist energy so you teach this person to um, be independent more independent than they are i mean they're they're pretty independent already with that queen of air they're self-sufficient but you may spurn them on to come out of their comfort zone also you teach them not to sort of run away or bury their head in their sand over things um also i feel like they may have um they may have experienced dishonesty in their lifetime. They may have experienced uh, people either ghosting them. You teach them that you're committed to them, that you want to be with them. Also, the two of earth indicates um, not only are you both aligning yourself with success um, and financially being quite abundant, and it always starts with a plan. You teach them about enjoying themselves a little bit and vice versa, actually, Capricorn. So I feel like um, you teach them that to stand on their own two feet, I mean they do already, but they're, they're just, you, you just add an extra level to them. But the two of earth is about remembering to have fun. Uh, I'm going to pull another card on that. Thank you so much Spirit Guys, Good Angels. Can you please clarify the seven of air and the two of earth? The king of swords. I mean, we got the king of swords, we got the queen of swords, we got the emperor, we got the empress. Okay, so it is about communication. Um, but also it's about, um, there may be an energy here as well about wanting to live elsewhere. I'm not sure. I'm getting this energy of you and this person discussing later on when you're together and it's a bit more solid in your relationship, um, either traveling further afield, uh, or having some sort of business that is overseas. Um, you know, also the King of Swords, as you can see, um, there's an energy here, uh, King of Swords someone who is very intellectual um, uses reason some, sometimes over intellect so it could be a little bit tactless okay so as you can see there's a, a needle there and thread so you know about mending coming together and sort of you know um, it's come back down to diplomacy both of you are very truthful and both of you do think before you act okay so weighing up your options um, sometimes you and this person may do things that are outside the norm in terms of work so you may not have like a nine to five, for example, one of you may be a freelancer or maybe both of you are a freelancer or you work unusual hours or you work several jobs at a time. Um, and it's all about, you know, uh, having really good communication skills, not letting stress sort of um, overcome your relationship to the point where you start shutting down, not talking um, and sort of avoiding. Um, it's, it's like a couple that plays together, stays together. This is the energy and you teach that person that, okay? Um, but also, as you can see, I just, it's, it's not really about power, but as I keep saying, it's almost like you add another level to this person because, you know, they're starting off in queen of air energy and the next level up is king of air, king of swords energy. So that's what I mean. You, you add another level. OK, it's not that you're controlling it. It's it's that you bring something to the table. You bring an extra uh, strategy or an extra way of thinking, uh, an extra way of leading. Both of you are very natural born leaders. OK, um, so I feel like there may be moments of power shifts in the relationship, but healthy ones. OK, King of Swords is a healthy thing. Thinking before you act negotiation. You both have great negotiation skills. But remember, negotiation skills in business you can also have negotiation and skills and be great at compromising when it comes to a relationship as well okay a lot of love here okay a lot of love a lot of happiness a lot of abundance you both find each other very attractive um and communication is key here and you are both unstoppable both really a power couple when it really comes to it because you got that magician card the sun and the empress card as well with the calling so the call card so um you should have found that your journey 
Um, it's not all plain sailing, of course, but you should know that both of you really complement each other in, uh, in lots of different areas. For those of you who have not met your soulmate yet, Capricorn, I'm just going to pull some cards and see if they can give me anything. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Golden Angels. Ooh, okay. Um, I'm going to go again. Uh, I'm just going to go get that card in a moment. They asked me to go again, so I will. Oh, gosh. A moment, please. We have the Seven of Wands, we have the Page of Swords, and we have the Knight of Cups. So, they're just indicating here, Seven of Wands, you've endured a lot, Capricorn, when it comes to love. I feel like you have worn your heart on your sleeve in the past with relationships, but you've, broke, you've been broken in the past too, okay? Um, you're actually at your personal best. Um, when you get a seven of fire energy and you're stronger than you think when it comes to love But there may have been someone who broke your heart in the past. Okay, and you've learned a lot You may have been a little bit guarded um, With love um, after that and we have to notice something when we all get hurt at some point Okay, so we build a uh, we sort of build a barrier basically so that we protect ourselves and it's not that we push other people away we don't mean that it's a protective barrier so that we do not get hurt after that heartbreak but we need to be mindful have we built a wall or have we built a boundary okay there's a difference a boundary lets things in okay as you can see there's some bars there I'll consider that a boundary okay where someone can't fully get in but they can kind of get in but it never really goes to term if you don't let someone fully in okay building a wall nothing gets in at all okay so just be a little bit mindful if you've been hurt in the past Capricorn the seven of wands is an energy of self-defense of protection okay against anyone who could hurt you but remember you're stronger than you think and this card is a strong man. So male or female, not a gender specific reading. Whatever you have endured is a hard lesson in love, of course, but it was to break you open and make you realize how strong you actually are. Okay, you can see this strong man is proving that he is stronger, stronger than anything that he has endured. Okay, that has hurt him. He wore his heart on his sleeve. Love is right there. Uh, you know, there's a lion there that in a roar had to come out. There's a skull and crossbows there. So there's... This person has experienced toxic energy and toxic relationships. We all go through different relationships that bring a different set of lessons, okay? And also we've got an anchor there. Uh, this person knows what it feels to feel like they don't fit in or feel like they uh, haven't gravitated towards um, an emotionally stable relationship or something that it brings commitment. There's been fighting here, using gut instincts and all of those things are blossoming. There's lots of, and there's always that one that you feel like there's got away etched there. Uh, so there's a lot going on there. This person brings those lessons etched on their soul. This person's got them etched on his skin, but etched on their soul, that's to teach you what you don't want, Capricorn, and what you do want, okay? So the Seven of Wands indicates you may be a little bit guarded. So right now, uh, Page of Swords is a kind of a, a learning energy. You know, you're uh, going a little bit deeper. Um, so these are, this is uh, for the, the Capricorns who haven't found somebody yet. Now, I have to pull another card on this card, to be honest, Capricorn, because I'm getting an energy of curiosity from this card, which I feel like someone uh, that you already know is kind of curious about you. And you may be curious about this person and wanting to go and see on a deeper level, is this person the, the, the person you want? I mean, I would say yes because we got a Knight of Cups right there, but I'm just gonna go and pull a card on it anyway. But the Page of Swords indicates you may be dedicated to a business plan or to learning about doing a new way of business or strategizing. Um, you're, because pages, they often are very curious. You know, they start uh, either a new career or something, um, you know, and you may be sort of doing some learning or, do, you know, doing some exams or something uh, in order to take a step in a different direction because this is a new focus. Spirit's basically saying wherever you learn or wherever you have a new focus, that is where you meet somebody new. You put yourself in a set of circumstances where you, it's almost like spreading your seed, okay? Um, where you, and I'm not saying sp spread your seed in the literal sense, Capricorn, you know what I mean. But I feel like, um, you know, knowledge, it, you could meet this per pl person at a place where you learn something. Uh, whether you book yourself on a course online or you go for a new job, for example, and there's someone who's training you who's not even in the same department as you or whatever, and there's a frizz on there. So I'm just going to pull a quick card. No, nope. it's in here. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Capricorn? Whoa. How would you like to receive? Thank you so much. 
So we have the Strength card, and we got the Three of Cups. So there's someone here who ha is, um, it's almost like they're sabotaging themselves. They may be a friend, and they may feel like they don't want to um, sort of encroach on a friendship. They don't want to push it too far because they value your friendship. They're worried that you don't have any feelings for them. Okay, so th th there is a friend in your social circle who has feelings for you. I feel like you kind of have a hint as who that person is. Now, this could be a friend or a friend of a friend, but it's someone you know, and they haven't picked up the courage to tell you yet. Okay, now this person may have water in their chart or Leo in their chart, but they're holding themselves back. Okay, um, Ace of Pentacles, Five of Swords, King of Pentacles, King of Swords. I mean, whoa. Wow, we've got two kings and we've got uh, two aces and we got one five. When you start to see synchronicities, Capricorn, that means there's major change. It also means soulmate is ready to come on in soon. Okay, ace of pentacles. So there will be this person, I feel like after a period of overthinking, because we've got a five of swords here, there will be this person will come towards you with an offer. Okay, five of swords. But I'm not really sure if it's the person. Okay, for you, that's what I'm getting. Uh, the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords indicates this person, um, they've dug deep, they will come towards you, they will speak, they will tell you the truth, they want a bit of a breakthrough, they want to get it off their chest and tell you how they feel, but there's also a King of Swords here and a King of Pentacles, so there's an energy here that this person's not speaking up because either they're not ready or they feel like they don't have anything to offer you. Okay, interesting way that this person would think. It could be in terms of finances or maybe they work with you so they don't want to actually cross a line. That's what I'm getting here with this. Okay, this person's not talking at this time because they're too busy overthinking themselves. This person is like, but they do want to offer you something. They want a bit of a breakthrough here. Uh, now, <clears throat> we also got the Knight of Cups. So there is love coming towards you. Very charming um, love very romantic love, someone who's going to offer you their heart and their sleeve. This is very raw. This person's going to be very authentic with you, very open. It's going to bring a lot of peace. As you can see, this person is uh, sitting right in the lotus flower. So uh, very peaceful love is on its way for you. There is someone coming on in. Again, strong water. Okay, so it could be Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer er energy in their chart. But I really have to say that Earth and... Um, Air is the majority energy that I'm picking up here. Now I'm just going to pull another card on that um, Knight of Cups. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, God Angels. Can you please guide? Thank you so much. Ooh. Five of Wands in the reverse. Interesting, it's another five. Uh, five of Wands in reverse is success, okay, and harmony. Um, you know, that this is, the, this is the one. This is the one that comes on in. You know, after, you know, feeling like many years there's been challenges in love or people have um, played you or you felt like there was rivalry for your affection or someone's affection, you know, this is the love for you. This is the one that brings peace and harmony and good fortune and um, wonderful energy. So the next one is your soulmate. Um, but you may meet this person at a place where um, you learn something or you are do you know, for example, it may be a hobby or maybe you are going on some sort of retreat um, you know, in order to come back to spirituality or build your confidence or something like that. So it could be um, that you branch out like that and put yourself in a social setting. I know it's difficult right now. We're going through a major uh, pandemic around the world, so it's difficult to get into social uh, situations. But I feel like the energy is shifting and, you know, you will be in a position to do that or you've already booked yourself on that, Capricorn. And in that group setting, you meet this new person. Okay, so... Um, Sorry, it's just, or if you're, it's almost like if you're curious about something, I do feel like there's someone who's going to come towards you with a piece of gossip, Capricorn, and tell you that there's someone who is interested in you. It's almost like that's the catalyst. I'm not really sure if you're interested in that person. I feel like that's the catalyst. As soon as someone comes towards you and says, oh, so-and-so, you know they have feelings for you, and you're like, what? No way. Oh, they're wonderful, and I really adore them, but there's no spark or something like that then the pathway is open and the soulmate's coming on in for you. So watch out for that, okay? Um, now I'm going to get your Wisdom of the Oracle card to close the reading. Also, just to let you know, I will be running a free competition for one lucky subscriber to win a free personal reading, free to enter, free to win, free to receive. 
All you have to do is complete something in the month of August, whether it is pay a bill that you've been meaning to or clean out the garage or uh, out the loft or whatever, um, change that light bulb or you know change the battery in your fire alarm, whatever it is, try and complete it in August. It doesn't have to be today, but at some point in August, because you raise your vibrations, you actually feel good about yourself. You've accomplished something that you've been trying to do, but you've been putting off for ages. Because we always say tomorrow and tomorrow, and tomorrow never comes, okay? There's always just this moment in today. Also, if you could take a little moment to actually spend some time with yourself, okay? Um, and I mean, like, create a date night for yourself. Don't be like, oh, tonight I'm just gonna see what's on telly and just, you know, be with me. Set an intention. On Thursday, I'm going to, you know, at 7 p.m., I'm going to go on a personal date where I'm going to sit in front of my favorite movie. I'm going to put it on. I'm going to make myself my favorite dinner or I'm going to get in my favorite takeaway. I'm going to cozy up in the duvet. It's just going to be a me night and I'm going to really enjoy it. I'm going to love it. Okay. Or take yourself out to a gallery or you know, uh, you know, I don't know, take yourself out in nature, set a date to have a date with yourself, to really enjoy your own company. You don't have to share it with a collective if you do not wish to. All you have to do is put the word completed in the comments box below and I'll gravitate towards one lucky subscriber on the 27th of August and I'll announce the winner in a video only, okay? So the cards that came out is uh, number 17, Fates. Okay, so the fate, so this is a fated union. The stars are aligning for your soulmate and you to be together, whether you're with that person or not. Also, it is a star card energy. So you and this person, you automatically kind of heal each other. You raise each other up. You renew faith after a long period of maybe having despair or confusion in love relationships or feeling, having, having a test of faith in relationships. You both renew faith in love. Also, we've got chopped wood and it's in the reverse. So I will read the protection message here. Uh, it's number 42. When you reduce it, 4 plus 2 is 6, the number of love. So let us see what is going on here for you. Fates. Fate, comma, acceptance that there are things that you cannot change and knowing what those things are. The relationship message says other people are who they are. You cannot change them. The challenge is to accept them who they are and not try to make them otherwise to suit you. This is a time to look at how you attempt to mold people to fit your view of how they should be so that you can remain in the relationship and avoid discomfort. What if who they are and whatever it is happening between you and them in this situation is the perfect is perfect from the perspective of spirit now is the time to accept what you cannot change even if this means that you honor yourself spirit and the other person by moving on love unconditionally for each of us is on our own journey and we cannot direct that of another be aware that this relationship is indeed fated and that you are meant to evolve into a better version of yourself as a result of it Okay, so exactly as I was feeling there, diplomacy, but also there'll be a power shift in the relationship between you both. But the key is knowing that you have identity as well as merging in the relationship. So it's very important. You know, there's certain traits that this person, because they're self-sufficient all by themselves. There's certain traits in this relationship between you and this person that you actually complement each other. Okay, so you don't have to be the same as each other. You complement each other by being wonderfully different. That's what humans are. You know, they're incredible energies all different and unique and we all come in different sizes and you know beliefs and all of those things wonderful it's about just loving everybody who comes your way because every person has got something to teach you because they've all we've all had our own personal journey whether it's been difficult or not we've all got something to teach each other anyway being grounded in everyday experience humility so I'll read you the protection message for that one. It says, are you an armchair astronaut? Do you dream of wealth and big fame and big ideas, inventions or desires with a capital D? The appearance of this card is a sign that you may be devoting too much time to dreaming and talking about your dreams. You have to get out of the chair and make things happen. You actually have to do something, come out of your comfort zone. Start with a small task. Remember, the big dream becomes reality only after you've begun the to take incremental steps. Mythologist Joseph Campbell once said, take one step towards the gods and they will take 10 steps towards you. Okay, Capricorn, don't shoot the messenger. I just read from the book, I'm so sorry. Um, but basically they're saying, if you're looking for your soulmate and you're not coming out of a comfort zone or you're not putting yourself in situations to perhaps meet another person, then perhaps dreaming about it, it's time to take action on it, okay? I mean putting yourself on a course on, you know, or, you know, going on a dating app or whatever it is, you know, of course, 
the right person will always meet you. Fate will always make sure they put you in each other's paths, whether you bump into each other in the street or whether you, you know, um, ask the time at a bus stop or whatever. There's always going to be a way. Like, for example, I'm going to give you this quick story. Um, this just because they just gave me, they're like, tell them about the story. I've got a friend anyway. Um, and they recently told me how they got together with their person and they're both wonderful people. But this person, my friend, um, was just walking down the street and he saw this uh, girl standing there for ages and he went to a cafe that was across the road. He just noticed her because she was really beautiful and um, she was just standing there. And uh, he was just thinking, wow, she's just standing there. If I had a girl like that, I would never make her wait. Never, ever, ever, whoever she's waiting for. And he was just having his coffee. He was just like there. And then she was staying, standing there for ages. And then she was looking at her watch. She was, he was thinking, wow, it's been like 20 minutes. And then he saw she started to have a bit of, she started to cry, okay? And um, he was like, oh, damn, okay. So she, he went outside and he just said, excuse me, I'm not a weirdo or anything. I mean, anyone who says, excuse me, I'm not a weirdo, immediately you think, you're a weirdo. But anyway, um, he said, I'm not a weirdo, but I, I've been in the coffee shop across the world. I just happened to notice that you were there. Look, you know, um, can I get you a coffee or anything? You know, I see you're crying. And she was like, um, I was waiting for a, a date. My friend kind of like said I should get out there and go dating. And I put myself up for this date and we were supposed to meet, but he's not shown up. And he was like, what? You're kidding me. And then they, they just started chatting. And my friend happens to be very, very funny as well. And they just hit it off and he said, look, you know what? I'm having a coffee in there. You can see I've just left my laptop and stuff in there. I can still see it. But if you want to come join me for a coffee until this person shows up. And she said, oh, no, I'm not waiting for this person anymore. You know what? I will. I'll come and join you for a coffee. They've been together for 10 years now. Okay. So if you are meant to meet the person, Capricorn, I have to say, no matter the circumstances, you will always meet. Okay. What is meant for you will never pass you by. So they just wanted me to give you that. OK, um, and I find that wonderfully warm and endearing, but it tells you something. OK, so I will leave that there. I'm just going to give you a trinket before we close. Thank you so much for it, guys. Go angels. OK, one. OK, so we've got this. We've got the horse. OK, and the horse is galloping. So that means if you have not met your soulmate yet, Capricorn, it's not too far away. Uh, also, horses, they represent uh, loyalty, groundedness, honesty, truth, emphatic energy. You and this person have a deep bonding, a lot of empathy with each other. And you and this person, you raise each other up to be very successful, okay? You spur each other forward. Uh, there's always movement forward here. Um, so I feel like you and this person, you'll take the journey of life together and it's really beautiful. So if you've not met your person yet, you will soon. Um, where would you like this? They just want it on the call card. Okay, because you and this person, you're meant to be, it is your soul's calling to be with each other in this lifetime. Okay, you made that pact before you came here. You will find each other again in this lifetime. So I'll leave it there, my beautiful Capricorn. I hope something resonates in this reading for you. If it does, please like or subscribe to my channel completely free for you. All you have to do is press the little bell that lets you know when I update my next message. It lets me know that you resonate with the reading, which is very important for me. And I will leave it there. Thank you so much, my beautiful Capricorn. Love and light.